everybody and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World Alive. What are we doing today? Well, for a start, we've got a uh, we've got a better microphone, I hope. That one. You might have heard it. Uh, so yeah, this, I apologize profusely for the last video. Um, I had no idea that the audio that was breaking out for me was actually like my microphone as well that was breaking out. Because um, I'm like, I'm doing effects and you can't even hear them. Ah, it, was, it was horrendous. So basically I had to use you, you little camera over there. I had to use it's like inbuilt microphone <laughs> to capture it. So I, I, I felt like I said, I cannot apologize enough for the audio quality in the last video. But today will be better because we're recording from this one. This is a good microphone. Uh, uh, but uh, I have ordered a new mixer. I'm sending that one back once I'm finished recording this. Um, so yeah, today, oh, we've got a lot of good stuff coming today because I haven't covered a lot of it and it has been a couple of days and there has been a new battle pass. This one is focusing on the scorpion. If you didn't know, the scorpion is like, I, I don't know, it's actually pretty decent. I've, I came across it like once or twice, um, and because it has armor, it's actually quite resistant to referantum, which is like a really good counter for a lot of flock creatures. So I've seen a lot of people, and in fact, if we look at <laughs> the top leaderboards, <gasps> IGTT whatever has fallen to 18th. Oh my god, it's, it's an anarchy in here. It's crazy what's happening. Uh, but you have people who have it at level 28 already um, and I'm, I've got boosts on it and now we've got three three flock creatures that are being used in the top teams um, as well as the Tyranna Valkyrie referendums always have Rexy the two Rexies it's uh, most people have a similar team but as you can see exactly the same as the top person number three has a little bit of a change you've got the Tyranid on there as well but basically I think what it's coming down to now is dinosaurs that hit hard or flocks. But, 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 guys, we're gonna get the premium pass, I know. You do get 200 of the scorpion uh, DNA. You do get a freaking reset. <gasps> oh my god, it's locked behind a paywall. Who would have guessed? <laughs> anyway, yeah, we'll, we'll carry on. Hold on. I'll be right back. <laughs> Smile to take the money away. Yes. Right, that should be it done. There we go. Little snip snips and a wink wink. Uh, a million? Oh no, a hundred thousand. Six hundred scorpion DNA. Three hundred Sungaya DNA. And two hundred meaning we have unlocked a scorpion. Hope uh, this is probably a bit too uh, sensitive actually, but uh, hey ho, we'll find out again. Teething issues back in the UK. We'll get there. In full, some of these rewards will be sent to your email. <gasps> I have a health reset to use. Oh, I've got to find something that I need to use that on. And we've just jumped down from 17 to 20. Okay, so now we've got to collect all of our rewards. Are there anything good? Um, there is this actually. The uh, tiger, uh, which I guess is okay. Also, they, this week um, for darting dinosaurs is very good. So I can't wait to uh, dive into that once we collect all of our uh, awards. You got the Pyraptor there, I don't really know. Uh, Pyraptor is used for that um, that crocodile raptor hybrid, isn't it? I think, I'm pretty sure. So, oh my god, we've got so much to collect, yes! <laughs> Do you love to see it? Oh, yes. I, like, I like how it gives you the Outbreak skin if you do the Premium Pass, but you get that anyway if you unlock the Premium Pass, right? So what's the point? Oh, also, oh no, I broke the game. I clicked on a reward I've already got. We're gonna have to reset, be right back. And we're back. And we're getting the rest of them. <laughs> so we're getting a lot of scorpion. I'm wondering how much we're gonna get, because I think it's 21 with uniques that you unlock them at. So, we've got a long way to go, but hey, by Joe, we're gonna get there. Oh, scorpion's works gen 2 randomly. It's like, oh, hello, you're here. Uh, we got a flock scent, which is interesting. Uh, I wonder what that gives you instantly, because I might put that on if it's something good. I don't think I've gotten that one before. Let's have a look. I've collected a lot of these scents. Uh, flock scent, here you go. Is that what's guaranteed? Is there anything guaranteed? Oh, uh, okay. Oh, you know, the the uh, the Compasog Nathus Gen 2 isn't so bad. Actually, all of them are good. I mean, apart from the common ones, which you don't really need, but pretty much all of those are good. 
<laughs> There's no scorpion in there, however. Uh, but just wanted to have a look to see if it was like a guaranteed something good. Um, and this comp, 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 <laughs> can't even talk. <laughs> comp, comp talk, Nathan. Oh boy, James, that was, that was a tricky one. English is not my first language. Gobbledygook is my first language. Oh dear. Okay, so if we're getting lots of scorpions. Yes, yes. Love the scorpions. 500 pyro. Yes. More Sungopsis. We're, we're definitely going to need this. Um, I, I get a feeling that I don't have too much of that ingredient. I might not run out of... Oh, <gasps> that's me. I'm a Scorpio. If you didn't know, that's my star sign. So we'd be like, oh, of course it is. <laughs> I, don't, I don't believe in star signs, but yeah, there you go. That's my star sign. <laughs> right. Okay. 50. Whoa, we've already got this to like level 23 or something, I think it is. It's 250 to unlock it, then like 100 to max it up or next next time, I'm not too sure. Again, I guess it's because it's got scorpion in the name. Oh, look at it. We get this scorpion badge as well. Oh, brilliant. Although, I, do I check? Uh, it's good looking though. It does look good, but I'll not. We got 50 of you. Another 50 of you, fantastic. But really, it's the 50 of, oh yes, another 50. Um, and then 166, and really, if we wanted to, we could unlock the next ones, but do we really care? Apart from those two, the boost. So, that's it. What I needed to check was um, what has got the most health that I don't use, because I could reset the boosts. So, the Giga, I don't use. I don't use this hybrid, and I have put on 16 of this, so I may as well just take it all off for free. So now I've got 20, well, 27 health boosts to use. So not so bad. You know, I don't use it, and I've got one free. May as well keep it, because I'm not using that anytime soon. Uh, so where's the mail? You're the mail. Uh, put in the mail. Uh, hold up. If I click on something, and I go on the health... Oh no, I do have it. Oh, okay, maybe it maybe it didn't get sent to email. I don't know. Or else it just automatically got used, I assume. As soon as I used mine, maybe it got put in the inventory. Something like that. I don't really know. So we now have the scorpion, which we can create. Yes. Now I'm probably gonna switch the Alberta Servia hybrid out for this, actually. So what I have seen. Oh, look at the tail! Not only is it a scorpion tail, but it's spiky. Uh, we'll put on to... I think it's like 20, 20 of that, but let's keep going. Let's see how many times we can fuse. Oh, at least 23. At least, I think. No, oh, they are glorious. Uh, another one, yes, yeah, so level 23. And then we've got a lot of fuses to do. Right, it has 30% armor. 30% armor. Ooh, that's really going to uh, put a put a stop to... Um, oh, 240. That's not bad. Oh, and it's just enough to make a level 24. Ooh, fantastic. Well, that was perfect, actually. Level 24. Yep, take that. Um, it's still in danger range of ref, even with the 30% armor, because it goes for that instant and hits everything, and it's not so good. I think it is immune to something. Stun? What isn't immune to stun that's used a lot? Uh, damage over time, and... Oh, the bleed, actually. So, yeah, it's, it's really good against ref. And, if I remember correctly, it's got a move that cleanses itself of damage reduction, I think. So, basically, when it's hit... You know, by ref, it's, you know, it's it's attacks nerfed to zero, it's, it's not going to do any damage, but it's counter, cleanses itself, and hits the opponent. So, and uh, what is it, 10% of something? 10% reduces speed by 10% as well, even though it doesn't look like it's on there. So yeah, this thing at level 30 is going to be really, really dangerous. Uh, we've still got some DNA to get from the battle pass, so we're probably going to get to level 25. I assume. Um, but with that being said, how about we move on to the, 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 if I can even transition properly, this week's events. So Wednesday to Thursday, you've got boring. Uh, I mean, it's up to you. You can doubt those. you got the sloth. you got some other things. Uh, Friday to Saturday, which is more up your alley, uh, you've got Blue, or sorry, sorry, Beta. I always get that mixed up. Beta, Bumpy, and the, um, I can't remember what that is. That, yes, the other flock one. But Sunday is the big one because you have a lot of choices. So many. Uh, you've got one attempt to dart Utaranex. Don't do it. Uh, Gemini Titan. Don't do it. The Bowser Turtle. Don't do it. Comsoraptor. In this case, don't do it. 
But what you should be donning is the Listro hybrid thing, because that is so rare. It's Argentavis DNA and Listrosaurus, and it's 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 really good. Um, but the legendaries, you have two chances to dart. It's up to you. You can probably go for the Listrosaurus other ingredient if you want it. You know, you're going for that and you don't have that DNA. But there's some other ones there. The Parasaur Lux is, is quite an interesting one. Uh, but Monday to Tuesday, you've also got the, uh, I think that's Archaeopteryx Gen 2, I think it is. Could be, it may even just be the first one. Uh, Dragorex Gen 2 and Tenotosaurus. Unfortunately, Tenotosaurus's um, hybrids aren't very good. So it's up to you what you choose, but if I was you, I would just start Argent uh, of whatever it is, the Archaeopteryx, that one. Anyway, anyway, so this is my team. We do have some things to level up. We finally have a max level in Denemis, and we don't use it anymore. <laughs> so swings and roundabouts, really. We finally get it maxed up, and then we don't use it, so <laughs> hey-ho. Uh, right, so... But mainly, um, I, I kind of, I do want to switch out this guy. I want to switch out this guy, but at the same time, I, I think it's more useful at the moment until I, I, you know, I need to wait until I level up my scorpion a little bit more, and then I'll switch him out. Um, we do have this guy, which we're very close to getting level 30. We just need more Triceratops DNA. So we're, we're guaranteed 200 extra of this scorpion DNA that we're going to get. So... I'm trying to think, where does that take us? At least 200 guaranteed, and we are there. So we need one more pop at the Scorpion, and with that, you know, the other DNA, that takes us to level 25. I don't think there's been any incubator that gives you the Scorpion uh, hybrid DNA. It probably will eventually, it'll come around, and then Ludir will be raking in that cash, that moolah, and then they'll nerf it. That's, that's the one at the moment, smell enemies, if you wanted to, ingredients for, um, Indian enemies, but at the moment, I, I, I'm okay, I'm okay. But with that being said, how about we do some battles? Mmm, yes. Oh, what, it actually found somebody? Oh, okay. It was just the way it was taking ages, it like timed out, but all right, oh. Oh, this is an interesting team. Ooh, ooh, I like it. Trano Valkyrie. Mmm, 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 I'm gonna put in, I'm gonna put in the Ankyloceratops, the dragon. Uh, against an Indian Emmys, this is actually quite perfect. Um, I could swap if I wanted to. Um, but you know what I'm not? I'm gonna stay in, I'm gonna get a hit off because I think he's probably gonna go for his cloak. Yes, he's gonna go for his cloak. I'm kind of hoping that what he does is his giant hit, but I don't think he is, like the giant hit and swap. I think he's just gonna go for the one to cleanse. I might as well do some damage, it's not much, um, but either way, whether I swapped to um, Comsoraptor now, or the turn I'm gonna do it next turn, um, at least this way we're doing some damage to him. Like, Comsoraptor's gonna lose one either way. Um, and it also means if I swap to Comsoraptor in this turn, he would have had a chance to swap out now. And, you know, he would take less damage or could take less damage in theory from my, you know, preventing him from swapping sort of thing. But now he's going to waste his cloak and then it's up to him whether he stays in and dies or whether he tries to get out and save some health. We'll see. It's always interesting. Always interesting to see what they go for. But is it going to be the Devourer? I think it's going to be the Devourer. Ooh, yes. Thought so. Yeah. One was going to die either way. Kind of happy with that. So now what do we do is the question. Hmm. I think it's always playful pounce. Always, always worth going for. And it's up to him. He's probably going to go for his biggest hit. And then die on the swap out here. Because um, I don't think he's going to do anything else, if I'm going to be honest. He hasn't swapped out, so he's he's not wanting to just take a big hit and at least get out. He's just wanting to do a big hit and then die out. And that way, as long as he's got something with priority, he's guaranteed to kill me, basically. Um, unless I swap out. He might have his own Comsoraptor. That might be what he's planning here. Um, if he does, at least I can kill one of them before... Um, I, I die because I will be quicker. Ah, a ref. Interesting. Okay, so what I could do here is I could just do a big hit. It's it's possible, but he's, he's definitely going to go for his bleedy bleed. Um, or I could swap to the Tyranno. And I'm kind of tempted to swap to the Tyranno. Because this way I get invincibility. 
Um, so I'm not going to take any damage. I don't get stunned, and I don't think it does stun anymore. I, that's a, a relic from a bygone time. But I also, I, you know, I'm resistant to bleed. So, and I'm going to cleanse myself next time. So, <laughs> Um, you know, if the opportunity arises, um, I can always swap in Raptor again, get one back, and, you know, it, 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 it's cyclical, you see. So, I mean, he's probably going to go for his bigger set. If not, he might swap out to something that may better take me on, like a Rexy. Uh, because at least that way I can't swap out with, you know, being hurt by Rexy quite quite brutally. Um, but we'll, we'll have to see what he does here. Yeah. Doesn't get the crit. Usually, I'm used to Ref always getting a crit with that. Don't know why, but they do. They always get the crit. Uh, so not only do we get rid of any bleed, but we also get a shield. We heal, and it's all good. It's all good. So now he's bleeding. Uh, he probably will get rid of that in his uh, his next hit. Um, and what I could do, he's still actually quicker than my Comsoraptor. So actually swapping to a Comsoraptor is not the most ideal thing in the world. Um, it's probably going to reduce my attack a little bit. Uh, ooh, interesting. Okay, okay. Yep, I mean, I'm kind of glad I did what I what I did do. I wish I did stun him in a way, um, but at least this way I'm resisting, you know, I'm cleansing my distraction, and I'm also removing his dodge, so I will kill one. Oh, and a bit! I did not realize it did a bit. Ooh, oh dear, okay. Um, did, oh, wow, oh, wow, he's dead. He, I don't think he realizes it, but he, he's just died. 2004, so 4,046. Wait, what? Why did it say that? I've got, oh, because he was vulnerable. Ah, I think I made him vulnerable. So his next one, gonna do a... There we go. Now he's probably gonna go for his, like, shattering and get one back. But I think that's probably gonna be the end of him if he does that. And I'm pretty sure this hits all opponents for 1,800. I do cleanse myself. Does he distract here? He does. You know what? Yeah, fair enough. You get that back. Um, I think I cleanse myself anyway. So not only am I killing him, but I'm also getting health back. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. I don't know why the top players aren't using this thing. Well, maybe they are, but the topest of the topest player is not using this thing. Because it's perfect for taking on, um, uh, what you call it, Comsoraptor. And there's Alberta Servia ready for its massive hoose of attack. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll just go for one. Wait, what? Okay. Ooh. If he got a crit, he might have been able to kill me. Um, oh, we didn't get the stun. I was kind of hoping for a stun, but we didn't get it. Um, that's a lot of damage, however. Oh, there it is. Oh, we've just survived. Oh, okay, okay. Um, now, what do you think he's going to do? Uh, he's going to die. He's going to die. Well, there it is. A 3-0 victory. It's interesting because in Gyrosphere, it's almost like the meta is different to Nublar Shores. It's like you need different dinosaurs to win in Jarosky, but once you get a new block, you need to then switch to like the, the top player team because everyone's using that. Whereas down here, you might get an Ula Dominus, you might get Utaranex, Dilokairus I've seen a lot of. My god, I hate Dilokairus now. It is like the, the most frustrating dinosaur to come up against because it's just such a staller and it's, it takes no skill. It's like heal, heal, hit, heal, heal, hit, and that's it. Anyway, we'll do one more because I think that was a fluke and you want to see me lose, right? You want to see, learn from my mistakes. Yes. Okay, that was a good team. That was a good team to have. We'll see if... Uh, Ooh, okay, there's no flock here, which is interesting. And the T-Rex is... <laughs> oh, the T-Rex is a bit hit and miss. Depends really how good I am at playing. We'll see. Um, I, I, you know, Ref's always a good one to put in. I'll put Ref in first. Yeah. I mean, if I get a crit, 20% chance. Basically 80%, that's how I see it. Uh, we'll see what he does here. Oh, yes! Oh my god, I'm so sorry! And it was level 27 as well. <laughs> oh no. Got the 20% crit, and it's a level 27. Uh, this, te you know, I maybe 30s. I I'm used to coming up against 30s, but not 27s. Again, I guess I'm in Jarosphere League. Um, see what I mean? Like Hydra Boa. <laughs> you never see that anywhere, but here it is. Um, now I can't swap out because I think it does stop me from swapping as well. Uh, yes. Oh, no, it doesn't. It's just escapey. It does lots of damage. Um, so, yeah, that's it. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. He's killed my ref, but now, now. Hmm. 
I wonder how much damage it does before... <sighs> I may as well nullify it. I think it's going to lose it. Oh no, keep it for next turn as well. So it's a good job I have nullified it here. So at least the next thing that comes in... Um, do I even survive that? No, I didn't think so. <laughs> hey, no, maybe. Oh, that's being cheeky. Uh, so, now. Now, 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 now. I guess I could put the Sarko in. Because he's he's probably going to go for the... Um, hmm. 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 Yeah, Fabled Fangs. I thought so. I thought so. At least, you know, I'm, I'm resistant to it. I guess I could have put in the bird. And then I could have cleansed myself even if he'd done that. Yeah, bird. The uh, Triceratops Tyrandon was probably the best. The best option there, and I've, I've been a bit silly with this. Um, but you know, we're gonna cleanse ourselves next turn. Maybe whatever he puts in isn't immune to stun. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, Alberta Servia. Oh, Jesus. Oh, okay. So this is actually really good because he will go for his priority. Um, I'm assuming he'll go for his priority. Either that or he'll go for Ferocious Revenge. Either way, he's doing no damage to me. I highly doubt. Highly doubt he's going to go for his regular hit. Please don't. Yes, there it is. I thought so. <laughs> Woohoo! So he's faster anyway, uh, which works out good for me because I don't want to use my attack first. Because if I use my attack first, I'm gaining, I'm gaining no health. Uh, but this way, he's going to attack first, and then I'm going to cleanse myself, get a shield up, and also, yeah, yeah, it's it's not looking good for him. I swear, like, I've been, I've been on a lucky streak when it comes to recording. When I'm playing by myself, I'm terrible. But when I when I click record, for some odd reason, I play amazingly well. <laughs> I guess I should just always record. We should do the live streams. That's what we should do. Um, so now I can just go for my biggest hit. Well, he, he kind of wants to swap, uh, but he's not swapping. Okay, fair enough. Well, there it is. That is a 3-0 win and a 3-1 win. Damn, okay. Well, I think, really, for both those games, um, the Draco Ceratops flying dragon thingy me bobby was MVP. Pretty, 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 it was like nothing that anyone did anything to. Oh, that was amazing. Well, anyway, guys, we're going to wrap it up there. Um, good luck on darting whatever you want to do. And if you want to go for the uh, the season pass, that's completely up to you. Um, I just think that the, you know, we're, we're, we're so far in now. We've just World Alive. We can't stop now, can we? Oh, dear. <laughs> but anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Until next time, I'll see you kiddies later. Oh, bye-bye.